Hi, I'm Tom. This is Lucy. And this is Kitty Help Desk. Today, I just wanted to talk a little bit about how you can find help if you're looking for an apartment and you can't find one that accepts your cats. And really sort of some of the things that you can do to kind of make your case with a landlord. Um, this sort of thing works better if you're renting from an individual than if you're renting from a big corporation because big leasing companies, they like to just set policies so that the people that work for them don't have to make any decisions. And it's a lot easier to set a policy that says no pets than it is to set a policy that says pets are okay when or if this, 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 this. You know, so then that's a value judgment has to take place. So what a lot of them just do is just say, well, no pets, or they make some kind of demand for an exorbitant pet deposit that is a little bit beyond what seems reasonable for an animal like a cat who, you know, most cats do very little damage. There may be a few that spray or that, that may claw on things from time to time, but I've yet to see a cat that can damage like a wooden door in the way that a dog can. And, and I would argue that most dogs don't do that either. Really, if you try the, the, the tearjerker approach, it's really not effective on these people. I mean, they kind of like cops, they've kind of heard all the stories and all the excuses and all the reasons and rationales and they just, they're not really moved by them. But what the Pet Alliance says did work was sharing statistics that showed how renting to pet owners could increase their revenue. There was a study that they commissioned, and in that study they found that renters with pets stayed in their apartments much longer than renters without pets. So pet owners basically rented on average 42 months, whereas those without pets rented on average 18 months. So that reduces turnover. It means less looking for new less time looking for new renters less time advertising, less money advertising, less time and money spent refurbishing an apartment. So these are all things that appeal to a landlord. A renter's advocate group in the UK, uh, advocateseastmids.org.uk, uh, say that 75% of cat-friendly private landlords report no problems at all from cats in their properties. And while 62% of their surveyed landlords uh, who don't allow cats in their properties, believed that damage would be an issue. Only 17% of those had any experience of that. So it's a bit of a misnomer. They think that there's going to be damage, so they say you can't have cats. But really, they haven't had that happen all that frequently. So here are a few things that you can do in order to try to possibly persuade a landlord to accept your pets, even if they have a policy against it. I mean, policies are really just there for convenience. Um, if you can get someone who will actually listen to you, plea your case, then it's possible that you'll be able to get them to waive the policy and allow you to keep your pets. Um, the first thing is to really show that you're a responsible pet owner. And you do that by you know, presenting them with veterinary records and possibly even a letter from your veterinarian that states that your pets have been well cared for and that they're spayed or neutered and that they're up to date on all their vaccines and on any kinds of uh, flea or worm treatment, anything like that. You wanna have them note that in the letter so that you come to the table with this letter already in hand so that you can show them that you are prepared to back up what you state, that you're a responsible cat owner. Um, so then if you, are moving from a place where you rented and you had your cats, then ask your previous landlord for a letter of reference. You can even write it and just get them to agree to sign it. Um, but something that just states that, you know, you were a problem-free tenant. When you left the place, you left it in as good a shape as when you moved in. There was nothing beyond just normal wear and tear, and they couldn't tell that cats ever lived there. That's really important because it shows not only that you're a responsible apartment dweller, it also shows that your cats really didn't damage anything in your previous apartment. 
The next thing is if you use any kind of pet service, uh, groomers or boarding or uh, behavior consultants like myself, anyone can really be a resource for this. You want them to provide documentation that, that says that your pet is well behaved and that they don't have a problem with aggression or any kind of biting or scratching and possibly even stating that, you know, their nails are kept trimmed and that they have, you know, a regular appointment with a groomer or, or whatever the situation is. You just want to add ammunition to your file folder that is saying repeatedly to this person that's going to rent to you, I'm a responsible pet owner and my pets are well trained and they're well cared for and they don't cause problems for me or for other tenants or for you. And then the last thing is it's really important that you not get discouraged because it's really easy to do. After a couple of, of denials, you know, people saying, no, we can't take the cats, then you start to think, well, this is just going to be everywhere and why am I even bothering to go through all this? I've done all this kind of groundwork and it's not paying off, but it will pay off. It's kind of, as they say, a numbers game where, you know, the odds may be against you, but you just have to keep applying and calling and asking people. It's as hard as it has ever been, but I think if you find a landlord who is also a pet lover, you may find someone who is a little bit more empathetic and is more likely to help you. And even if you don't find that, that you particularly like the place that that person is renting, they may be able to refer you to others. They may actually go out on a limb and try to help you find the place that you're looking for that accepts pets simply because they respect you for caring for your pets as well as you have. I know it's never easy to relocate and it's certainly never easy to find a new apartment. Um, boy, I've done it more times than I care to think about. I've moved so many times, living in Los Angeles for 20 years, I really, it was like a hobby looking for new apartments. Um, and it's as bad as I've ever seen it right now. So it's not easy, but I think if you persevere that you'll, you'll find the place for you and your pets. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe and I'll see you next time. Good luck.